Hello and welcome. This is the video tutorial for installing SageFrame.NET Framework in your local host. SageFrame is a web application framework that is ideal for creating and deploying projects such as e-commerce site, corporate intranets and extranets, online publishing and custom vertical applications. Before we get started with the installation, we need to make sure that you have the SageFrame installation files downloaded from sageframe.codeplex.com. On the downloads page of the website, you can find both the install version and source version available for ASP.NET version 3.5 and 4.0. Now, in order to deploy SageFrame on your local host, you need to fulfill the minimum requirements, which are as Internet Information Services, .NET Framework 3.5 with Service Pack 1, and SQL Express Server 2005 or 2008. Now let's begin with the installation by firstly creating a database. For that you need to open the SQL Server Management Studio Express. Connect to the SQL Server Management Studio Express. Right click on the databases and select new database. Fill in the desired database name. I'll be putting here as db underscore says frame and click on OK. So we just created an empty database named db underscore says frame. The next thing we're going to do is create a login to your database. For that, you need to expand the security node of your server. Right click on logins and select new login. Fill in the desired login name. I'll be putting here as my login. Click on SQL Server Authentication and put in the password. I'm putting test as my password. Confirm the password. Uncheck Enforce Password Policy. On the left, click on User Mapping. Check the newly database that we just created. And on the database role membership for you want to select db underscore owner and click on OK. Uh, the database portion is now complete with the newly created database db underscore sales frame. Uh, continuing with the installation, we will now work towards creating a website folder and unship the downloaded sales from dot package to this folder. Well, actually, you can place this folder to any of your local drives. Um, for instance, we have created a folder as SageFrame in our e drive. You want to extract the SageFrame install or source version which you downloaded earlier. As you can see, I have the install version handy. Let's extract the files. Lastly, you must change the access permission of your folder. Uh, well, the Windows account that is used to access your site must have full control over your SageFrame root folder. To set this, right click on the root folder of your site under Properties. Click on the Security tab. Hit the Edit button. Add. Advanced. And finally on Find Now. While holding the control key, you want to select IIS Users and Network Services. Click on OK. And give full access permission to these folders. Now, finally, we have to create a new application to IS. For this, go to Start and type in INIT Manager. This opens up your Internet Information Services Manager. Get into the sites and right click on the default website and add application. Enter an alias name. I'll be putting here SageFrame Demo. Locate the physical path to the directory you place the files in. This is applicable for the install version and click on OK. Um, click on the application that we just created and select Manage Application. Browse it on your favorite wizard to complete the installation. Uh, well, it takes a few seconds to open up the 
application you want to choose the custom setting as it allows you to specify the database information and click on next test permissions once your site has passed all the permissions check you want to click on next now configure the database connection with the necessary credentials fill in the database name that you created earlier the user ID and password and click on test database connection uh, once the connection has succeeded you want to click on the next button you will see the wizard running the script for each version after you click on next uh, it again takes few seconds to run the script We just need to wait for a while. Okay, now on successful installation, you want to click on next and finally click on finish access your portal and your SaaS frame based website appears. Congratulations, you just successfully installed your SaaS frame.NET framework on your local host. Thank you very much.